hi and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be um, washing my hair it's been about two weeks since I've washed my hair and as you can see I've been kind of just wearing it in two braids I wore it out like this last night and just slept with it like this but I'm going to um, take this all out and then wash my hair, straighten my hair and put some curls to the end it is Valentine's Day so I'll probably show you what I'm going to wear as well I'm going out to the cinema and to eat so I might do a little outfit of the day at the end so I just thought I'd show you quickly my hair now I've taken out of um, it out of the two plaits that I had and here it is and um, comes just down below the armpit it's like the bra And now I'm going to go and wash my hair. Hi, so I've washed and conditioned my hair. And then I put on a deep conditioning hair mask. And then I've just had my hair wrapped in this cotton t-shirt. So I've been really actually liking wrapping my hair in a t-shirt. And um, to soak out some of the moisture. That's one thing that I've actually really liked recently so I think I'm going to carry on doing that and I'd recommend if you don't already to give that a try. So now my hair is fully blow dried, you can see it right here, length again. I'm going to put the whole top section up into a bun because I'm going to be working on the back section first. Let's get all of this out of the way. I'm going to be working first on this back section here. I think I'll show you how I straighten um, when I get to the top sections because then you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing a bit better. These are the kind of sections I take. I like the section to be a kind of a rectangle shape, so like a long flat section and so that it can fit into my straightness kind of perfectly. There's no point having like a square shaped section you might as well kind of straighten as much as you can at the moment so I just roughly part my hair with my little finger get that kind of flat section oh, comb it through if you need to comb through and just straighten it and curve my straightener so I go down the hair and I will allow two passes but around the very front of my hair I'll only pass through my hair twice if it really looks like it needs it. So again, rough parting with my little finger. Comb the section through, through a few times. Straighten this right onto the roots. And all the way down. And just curling it under at the end. So. See, section. I'll comb it through. Now I've got a mirror in front of me because you want to just make sure that you get all of your hair is passing through and everything kind of looks nice and smooth even before you put the straightener on it. So I can see that there's no bulges in the hair or anything like that. Hold it kind of quite taut. And put the straightener on. And I'll just let my hair um, cool down for a few seconds, and while that's happening, I'm actually been noticing um, a little bit more dryness in my hair, just because it's winter, but also because I've been working out. Somebody did ask me what I do when I work out and obviously it's January and kind of heading into the summer so a lot of people are working out and trying to like 
tone up and stuff like that. When I work out, I work out at home and I'll kind of do that three times a week. So I don't need to worry too much about what my hair actually looks like when I'm working out because I am working out at home. I'll tie my hair up in using an elastic into a bun or a ponytail or something like that. And then I'll wrap the front of my hair with a headscarf. I do actually get quite hot and sweaty and stuff like that. And I'll make sure to kind of dry my hair off if it does get kind of a bit wet or anything like that. And I'll then wrap it afterwards as well, just so that the front of my hair, that would be the part that you want to make sure kind of stays nice and flat and straight and so I'll just wrap it but then also a thing that then happens because of working out and because it's winter and stuff like that is that you might notice that your scalp gets a bit drier and that's just because of um, what's in your sweat isn't that great for your scalp and if you're like me I only wash my hair once every two weeks if you work out a lot and for like longer periods of time then I think it would be a good idea to maybe to wash your hair every week. There's quite a few people who I watch on YouTube and they do wash their hair every week. So I don't think that that's necessarily, a, like, that's definitely not a bad thing to do. If you're working out and you need to wash your hair, washing your hair once a week isn't, an, isn't a problem. It shouldn't damage your hair at all. So I'm just going to apply some of this um, At One hair grease. This is the same type that I've been using for about for over a year, let's just say that. And it's just the front section, it's kind of just here. So I'll just apply that right onto the scalp. I'll try and not get any onto my hair. And you can kind of see when you need, where you need it because your scalp will be a different colour at that point to your normal kind of scalp colour and as soon as you put the grease on it kind of that colour will go so it's more of a it's kind of got a white kind of tone to that part of my scalp but as soon as I apply the hair grease it looks um, it goes back to kind of my brownie kind of colour So I'm just going to curl this bottom section of my hair really quickly. You can take sections that aren't kind of too big, bigger than what you did, what you used to straighten. Kind of curl that into straighteners and just move it down through your hair. Hopefully that you can see that when you do that. I'm going to do that again a few more times and hopefully you'll be able to see what I do. So this section is kind of this size. And slowly just move the straightener down and through the hair. So I'm only trying to get curls right at the ends of my hair. Just because I think it's a bit... Valentine's, you just have a few, a few curls there. And now I just quickly do the front section, kind of brush it into, so you can see how it's going to sit. Start with the longer pieces. Again, I just want the curls to be at the very bottom of my hair. I'm curling all of it away from my face.
and I'll just do the other side. I thought I'd show you this side curling my hair using a slightly different method. So kind of still the same size sections and again straighten with the straightener and I'll curl, I'll have the straighteners facing upwards and I'll curl and just move the straightener through the hair like that. This part didn't quite get into the straightener. And the results are really similar to the other way so kind of doing curling different parts of your hair using slightly different method doesn't mean that the style will be kind of disjointed as long as you make sure to start the curl um, at, in the same kind of place and then you just move it down through the hair like that and curling with the straightener is never about being um, you can be super precise but if you wanted kind of really even curls I would recommend using uh, tongs which I do have a pair and maybe I should um, dust them off because I haven't actually used tongs in my hair for a long time and it would be interesting to kind of compare that kind of curl to this and obviously I did um, one curls in my hair the other day and then I've just got this top section and I'll just comb that through and I'll start with this longest piece of hair here and again I'm just curling away from my face I'm not trying to get a super um, big curled look so I'm not doing alternating curls or anything like that um, that you might have seen me do before because this is really I'm kind of wanting to go back to how I used to wear my hair which was more in this kind of more of a flat style but I kind of got really caught up with wanting or well, making my hair kind of as big as possible and as volumised as possible And I totally forgot how much I liked it when it was really quite flat and smooth and stuff like that. Oh my God. So that is the last piece of that. And now I just kind of nip over the hair and you can see how both sides kind of look really quite similar even though they were curled using kind of different curling methods. And you can, see with this, you go like this. If you were to do this side going downwards, you'd either have to use that hand like that or you have to put your hand round. So it's kind of... Um, It's a bit more difficult to do that on the other side of your head if you're trying to get both sides of your hair kind of curled out of your face. And that is the finished hair. I don't really know. Yeah, I guess. Um, Enjoy that. <laughs> I'm going to do my makeup and put on my outfit and then I'll show you what I look like and this is the, yeah, the finished hair though, so, yeah.